Hola! So today's episode is going to be these um, little tombstones. Um, I have seen a lot of tombstones around and um, I don't have a tombstone die. I um, kind of wish I did. Um, but I didn't want to buy one. Um, and also, I do have a Cricut, so I could have done them on the Cricut. But I thought to myself, I bet I have a punch that is similar to that. And so, sure enough, I took out my um, trusty here uh, Martha Stewart punch, which I don't know if she has taken this out. Um, this actually came in a package with like stamps um, that I got out Tuesday morning. But um, so I modified this punch. So this is what the punch is. And I obviously I took off the sides. Um, so this video is showing you how I do um, these little tombstones. So, um, and then also the letters are actually also a Martha Stewart punch. And she took this one out. I uh, actually saw it at uh, Michael's um, the last couple times I was there. Um, so she actually, it's the same punch. She just repackaged it with her new packaging. And um, so this is on sale at Michael's. Um, I have used these before. I punched out a, a bunch. One time I went like a little punching crazy and I punched out a bunch of like um, black uh, ones. And so this time I thought, oh, how fun would it be to do um, glitter ones? However, however, I did make a mistake. So I punched them out. And so I just wanna let you in on my mistake. I punched them out. And so like, as you can see, some of them are the right way. But some of them, like for example, this A, because I think this is an A, yeah. So if you can, as you can see, this A is, this is how it should be, but it actually, let me pick it up with my jewel picker here, if it lets me. Ah. Okay. So you could use it this way as well, um, but if you look at the A here, it's supposed to be with the little thing like on the left and this is on the right. Um, so what happened when I punched it is I punched it like this on the glitter side and the glitter side should be upside down from this in order for them to come out the right way. Otherwise you won't be able to use them because I like for example the R. The R is a good example because I did that one first. So the R, this is the right way, right? And so if I turn it over um, if I turn it over, I can't use it unless I use it, the white side. So learn from my mistake. Don't do it. <laughs> um, anyways, so today is just going to be kind of um, showing you how to do these um, tombstones, or at least how I did them. Um, and there's been a lot around. Um, I've seen a lot of people that I follow on Instagram uh, do tombstones. Um I'll try to link them down below if I can remember who they are. I've just seen a lot of them um, on Instagram. So, but I think these look really cute. Um, and then the paper, the words, I actually um, wrote them all out like last year and I didn't use all of them as you can tell. Um, I did last year try to make an October daily and I am almost done with it. I decided this year I wasn't gonna put that kind of pressure on myself to do an October daily instead I was gonna do the videos so I feel like I can't handle too many things at once um, I can handle you know the challenge of the videos but anyways I have these words um, if you're interested in the file if you want to do the file um, as long as you're following me on Instagram and YouTube and you leave me a comment below um, you can email me and I'll send you the file and easy as that it's like in a word document it's a Google Doc, um, and I have, it's a lot of different sayings. It's like Halloween ones, um, Halloween ones, and then I think I have some that are, um, they're all Halloween ones. They're like different sizes, different size fonts. Um, I may have one that's like fall, um, but I just have like a bunch of different ones. Yeah, because here's like the fall one. It's sweater weather. But I just thought these were kind of fun, like cute little, um, 
cute little, um, like some funny ones. Um, Ghosts Have Real Spirit. Hollow Scream. Um, I love my Tim Holtz and I always use Tim Holtz whenever I can. Um, he just doesn't have a lot of variety in the Halloween ones. Tim Holtz, if you ever listen to my video, please come out with more phrases. Um, I know he also has like the little, um, which I, I hauled, so I have, um, the ones that are like cream, um, that, um, they're like white and cream. They're like different fonts, different phrases for Halloween. So he does have those. Um, but yeah. So anyways, I'll go ahead and get started here instead of me talking so much. So the first one that I did um, was this bat one. And I am using the paper that I've been using a lot on my projects has been this um, Trick or Treat by Pebbles. So as you can tell, I got it at Tuesday morning for $2.99. And I did get it this year. So this is from this year. Um, there's some really cute patterns. I pretty much have gone through all the cute patterns. I was trying to stick to something like dark since they're tombstones, even though I, I did add a flower <laughs> to it. Um, but I don't know, maybe I'll do a fun one. Uh, like I really like this pumpkin one. I haven't had a chance to use it. So let's see here. So anyways, so what I do or what I did is I have gone through and I'm just punching this. I am literally just using this punch and of course I'm on camera and it's not punching all the way. What's up with that? I don't know what happened there. That's the first time it's done that. I think I got excited. Anyways, I'm not using that part so we're going to make believe that that didn't just happen. Um, and then all that I'm doing is I am cutting this part off. So it's kind of like to make it straight. Sort of. And then here, I just kind of cut this part so that it still kind of leaves it a little rounded. And then I just leave the top alone. Um, I'm sure you probably could also just cut out a piece of paper and do the same thing. I don't know, I kind of want it like something at the top. I thought that would be kind of fun. So um, here, I'll do it again. And this time I'll use a different paper. I have this like polka body one. There we go. I think I didn't press it through all the way before. Um, so here, I'm just cutting the sides. And then I am just cutting this part here. And you know what? Let's pick one of those fun ones. Um, let's see. Why not do... To this one, I kind of like this one. Still has like a lot of dark, so let's do that one. And oops, sorry, I'm off camera here. Um, you didn't see that, but I didn't cut it perfectly, so I have to go back and kind of cut it again. But here, I'll do a couple more. Kind of like how these are turning out, so I don't know. I may maybe I'll just do I'll do four of each. six of each. I'm committed now. So okay.
Okay, so now that I have them all cut here, all punched out, I'm gonna go ahead and go through and I'm just going to fast forward through this part so that you don't have to um, listen to me the whole time. Just kind of cutting. Um, so yeah, let me fast forward through this. Okay, now that I have all my RIPs here, and I might have, uh, overestimated, or underestimated, actually, how long that was going to take me to do those letters, um, just because I have a small space to work with here. However, here we are, we're all done, so now I'm just going to go ahead and, um, start decorating these and what I used on this one um, was this little rose and it's actually a Tim Holtz rose um, I keep in my little container here my recollections container 
um, and all it is is like I have all these acrylic roses um, and so I have all these like little ones um, his Halloween line has um, red and black and um, I know Tuesday morning had them I don't think I ever saw them at my Tuesday morning so I bought them like when they were on sale at Joann's or Michael's or something I do need to restock though because I am like pretty much all done here um, so I'm just gonna take some of these out and um, maybe I'll use I don't know some of these are these big are these too big um, might use some of those those are cute too um, I have some of these some of these pink ones and these I got in Mexico. Um, I really like them. But, um, yeah, I don't know, let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and I need one more. Um, Maybe I'll just do another red one. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll just do another red one. 16. Um, <clears throat> although, I don't know, I may decide to do um, these little skulls are so cute from uh, Beautiful Nights. Maybe I'll do one of those instead for one of them. Um, just because they're so cute. And I really like them.
Okay, well, um, as you have seen, if you've stayed on this long, um, you notice that I used other um, things to decorate as well. So like some of these stickers that I had here. Um, so yeah, so here is the finished product. Here are the finished products. Um, I like my little hack of using my punches. I am always down for using or reusing some of the stuff that I have, right? Like using it in different ways. Um, I love being able to do that. Um, so these are all, oops, sorry about that. These are all the um, ones that I did. I did skip a couple only because I want to punch out um, black letters. Uh, I don't like love how this looks. Um, so I did do, um, so yeah. But these are all of the ones that I did for today. Um, it was probably going to be a long video. So I will try to shorten it as much as I can. Um, I love like these uh the use of these cute little flowers these are like they're bigger ones but I like them um, I just like how the flowers look I, this was not my favorite one but um I'm gonna make it work I do like how the little bat looks and how the little lightning looks and I love how these look these little um, skulls I love these stickers I'm gonna have to I, I seriously like the candy corn and the little skulls is what I've used out of those, and I freaking love them. I do have one more pack, I think, but then I'm going to be all out. Um, anyways, hope you enjoyed watching this. I love how my tombstones came out. I just need to package them up. Until next time, hasta mañana. Thank you. Bye.